Stand up. Stand up again and we do the exercise. Okay. Exercise for a bit, uh, 15 to 10 minutes. That's okay, ready. So everyone stand up, please. I will be checking those who are not doing the exercise and those who are not showing their faces during the Zoom class. I will tell to teacher, being teacher no, to minus your score. So now is the time to open your screen and show your faces, okay? I will be checking it one by one. So everyone stand. Let's start. Can you see the screen? Yes. Yes. Adios, right. I said ten, right? And I like this. You cannot do the exercise if you are sitting down on your chair. Okay, let's start. Welcome to Body Project Cardio Starter. Let's just get marching on the spot, get going. Today is cardio starter, not cardio beginner, not cardio rookie, cardio starter. It's hard work, but it's the first stage towards becoming super healthy, super fit. Let's start lifting them knees up a little bit higher as we march. Get them up high so we engage the abs as well. Make sure you're pumping through the arms as well as the abs, warming up the whole body and getting ready. Pump in the blood to the muscles, ready to work hard. Let's get twisting now, get the upper body twisting in to the opposite knee, hand to opposite knee. Continue to breathe nice and deep. How are we feeling, guys? Very good. Okay, good. Just shake your legs a little. Let's have some short squats, not too deep. Squat, middle squat. Get him working. Breathing evenly. Okay, We've got some intervals. We've got some rests. Good, honest, hard work. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, shake it out a little. Let's get reaching. Reaching a up. Bit. We reach over. Stretching out through the back. That heart raising up, ready for the work. It's coming ahead, breathing, breathing. Body project. We do things the right way. Keep your eye on our form, keep your eye on our intensity. Make sure you've got some water with you. Make sure you've got a towel. You may very well need it. Three, two, one, get running on the spot. Abs nice and tight, core engaged. Pump in the arms. Breathe deep, breathe deep. It's low impact today. So if you've got bad knees, you'll be pleased. We'll be building up your tolerance to higher impact movements throughout the process, throughout your body project. Let's get a little bit faster now, guys. Everybody should be feeling the heart starting to pump. The work. Starting, you're ready, you're feeling fierce, you're fired up, you're ready to go. It's all about cardio today, it's all about hard work, it's all about health. Five, four, three, two, one, kick it out. Okay, so let's get going into circuit number one. 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, three times, three exercises, three times through, starting with moderated jacks. Are we ready, guys? In three, two, one, let's go. So here, we're working through the shoulders, remembering to breathe nice and fast, working the abdominal muscles, working through the side glutes, through the sides, the legs, but most importantly, we got some cardio happening. You can take the speed down, you can take it up, you can dip a little bit. It's up to you, your pace. But it's 30 seconds of work. 
And ease. We've got 15 seconds. If you want to, you keep moving. We're going to move into squat and punch to standing punch in three, two, one. Let's sit down. Five, four, three, two, one. Come up. Four, three, two, one. Come down. Four, three, two, one. Come up. And down. Work it through. You go as low as you can and up. You can shorten the distance that you come down. That's fine, but you keep punching and up. Keep with it, guys. And ease. Kick it out. Kick it out. Work it through. Next one, we'll do the squat and hamstring curl. Breathe in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Squat and curl. Work it up. Work it up. And that body work. Moving the body. Stay strong. Dip deeper. Feel strong. You can speed up. Slow down. It's up to you. Breathe. Work. 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 And easy. We've got 15 seconds. Deep breaths. We're going to move back to the moderated jacks in four, three, two, one. Let's go. So this is round number two. Working it on. Feeling good. Feeling strong, guys. Let's keep it going. Stay focused. It's only the beginning. You press play, you put going. That's the key to success. To start, start the workout, start the nutrition plan, start your body project. Keep playing. And ease. Check it out, guys. One punch, the standing punch. Get ready. We start with the squat in five, four, three, two, one, come down, let's go. Three, two, one, come up. Four, three, two, one, come down. A little lower if you can, keeping the back straight. And up, keep working, keep breathing, keep pushing, keep pushing, come down. Let's stay with this, stay strong. And up, work it through, come up. And down, almost there. Three, two, one, and kick it out. Breathe nice and deep. We're gonna move into the squat and hamstring curls in three, two, one. Let's go. Breathe, stay strong, stay with it. Focus. It starts to burn. The three exercises, this may be the toughest. You've got to stay focused on how you're moving. How's it feeling? Feel them legs burning? That's a good thing. Almost there. Almost there. And out. Oh. Yes. Breathe deep. Final circuit coming up. Starting with the moderated jacks. In five. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Let's work a little harder now, a little faster. This is the final set of this circuit of exercises. We can feel the work coming through our bodies. It's good. Feels nice. Feel strong. Because I'm moving. Always. Stay with it. And ease. Kick it out. Breathe in deep. Squat and punches to standing punches in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Come up. Four, three, two, one. Come down. Four, three. Two, one, come up. Four, three, 
two, one, come down. Three, two, one, come up. Stay with it. Two, one, come down. Four, three, two, one. And kick it out. Get ready for the last exercise last in exercise. five seconds. Squat and hamstrings. Three, two, one. one. Let's go. Let's work. Let's push. Let's dig. Focus. Stay strong. Stay motivated. Stay in a rhythm. Stay with us. Keep the form. Core tight. Staying safe. Breathing. Breathing. We're almost there. We've got 10. Work. Little more. Little more. Little more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And breathe. 30 seconds rest. Yeah, Grab some rest. water. And drink Make sure water. you rehydrate. Getting ready for circuit number two. We're on our way. Good work, guys. Good work so far. We're moving into circuit number two. This one's a little bit tougher. We still got the same format. 30 seconds work, 15 seconds recovery. We're starting with touch and raise. Feet slightly wider than shoulder width. In three, two, one. Let's go. So you dip down like a wide squat, and then you raise up. As always, you speed it up. Slow it down. As long as you keep working as hard as you can for 30 seconds, you're making progress. And that is all we care about, is that you make progress. That's it. Nothing else matters. Don't compare yourself. Don't judge yourself. Keep making progress. And on that note, 15 seconds recovery before we move into uppercuts. I do like a bit of boxing. In three, two, one, let's go. So throwing them uppercuts. Turn the body into the shot. Don't be kind of just there with the hands. Be active. Move your body. Engage the muscles in your legs. Feel your obliques turning into the shot. But most importantly, breathe. Working on. We're almost there. Stay with it. Stay strong. Stay focused. Uppercuts. 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 Work. Work. And ease. We're going to move into side steps. That's Keep your eyes on us for exercise number three. In three, two, one. Let's go. Side. So we're just working through there. Come on, guys. Let's push. You can go lower. You can stand up tall. Doesn't matter. You're working. You're working. You're making progress. You're feeling this. Stay strong. Stay strong. We're almost there. Stay with it. Core tight. Push. 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 Work. And ease. Breathe deep. A bit tougher than circuit number one. We're moving back. Touch and raise, you feeling all right there? In three, two, one, let's go. Hold tight, stay stay. stay focused, stay with us. Push it. Come on, this, this is the time, this is your time. Workout time is your time, nobody else's. Your time to change your body. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. It's all about you. It's all about change and progress and ease. Okay. <gasps> if you want, please. If you have water beside you, it's now the time to drink water. I know you're tired. That's 15 minutes workout. Okay. 
I saw some students who didn't open their camera. Here can, I don't know, uh, Piranat. Also, the, the last one, number 17 and number 16, five plus five. Also, Hammer close his camera. I, I was checking your, your pictures and your videos, okay? So I was checking. I'm looking at it carefully if those are not doing the exercise. Okay, so now let's begin. I hope you have your um, PE notebook. Get your PE notebook because we will be writing some vocabularies and important ideas and concepts during the discussion. So get your help or PE notebook, please. Okay, now let's begin. We will be having a 10 vocabulary words to discuss. And we will be using these words throughout the discussion. So it's also important that you know these 10 words. Let's begin. And also what we're going to discuss is about, um, still we are in unit five, developing movement body skills. Also for this unit, we will be discussing about lesson two, concept of body motion. Now for the first vocabulary, we have concept. Start writing now, please. Number one, concept. Number two, we have motion. Did you see number one, please? We, we will go back later on with number one. We, we finish first number two to after 10. We will go back to number one later on. Number three, we have activities, activities. Right. Number four. Strength. This microphone is not turned on. It's not turned off. Number five. Ready? No. Number five, we go to speed.
And number six, we have weight. Number seven. Balance. Number eight. Force. Number nine, we have generate. Generate. And lastly, number 10. We have movements. Show number six, please. Who's not yet finished with number one? Me. Number one. Number one to ten. Now those are not finished, you go back. Number one. I want to put a cat. I want number six. Yeah, yeah. We go back to number six later. What's next? Uh, what what number next? Two finish? I want number eight. Can I have a number four? Okay, turn turn off your microphone, please. We go to number, number six. Four. Number four. Number Number two, please. Number two. Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Anyone? Did you, uh, did number, you all get... number seven. Did you number seven? See ya.
Okay. So what is the first vocabulary? Anyone? Concept. 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 Number two. Motion. 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 Number three. Activities. Activities. Number four. Three. Three. Again. Strength. 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 Number five. Speed. Number six. Wait. 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 Number seven. Number eight. Horse. Number nine. Generate. And last one, number ten. Movement. 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 Okay. So now, uh, turn turn off your microphone now, please. Still, someone is not turning off their microphone. Okay. So let's continue. The concept of body motion. Turning off their microphone. Okay. Um, calling the attention of those who are not showing their faces during the uh, Zoom class, please. It's now your time to turn on. Okay, in the motion concept of body motion, we will be discussing about three things. The first one is carrying weight. And the second one, it's about uh, using strength. And the last one about balancing. Okay, so these three are the one that we are going to discuss this afternoon. Let's start. For a concept of body motion, when we carry out daily activities and movements, we use force to do these activities and make these movements. I mean to say, um, when you have your daily routine or daily activities in your at home or when you are at school, you use your force, your strength in doing this kind of activities because these activities involves movements. And also we use our body strength in different ways. Body strength, this is the one, this is the kind of force or strength you have in your body. For example, in using strength, we can increase or decrease our speed. We can also carry weight and balance our body. So therefore, we should have a good understanding of the basic principles of movement related to carrying weight, strength, and balance. In this one, we should identify uh, this kind of movements and this kind of force we exert wherever we do a movement or activities in our life. Also, we will distinguish the difference between carrying weight, strength, and balance. Now let's go first to number one for carrying weight. In carrying weight, an object body 
needs force upon it to make it move. I mean to say, um, when you carry something, it doesn't automatically come for you or move towards you. you there should be a substantial force for that object to move. I mean to say, this is the force that you exert. Once an object is in motion, motion is um, how do you call this one? speed. There are different forces acting on it. For example, like this, holding the weight of the tree to stop it from falling over. Um, in this picture, they are trying to plant a new tree. And the person holding the, the tree is the one holding the weight of the tree. I mean to say, he is holding the weight of the tree for the tree not to fall and not to move around like going to the left and to the right. Also, carrying weight, I have three examples. Example number one, we have lifting dumbbells. Example number two, we have holding a baby. And example number three, we have carrying your bag. Take note with these three examples because they have, uh, they distinguish the examples of carrying weight. For example, lifting dumbbells, it looks like this. Okay. Lifting dumbbells. The, the color black there is what you call dumbbells. Number two example, holding a baby. Have you seen uh, someone holding a baby or carrying a baby? Um, it's also part of carrying weight because it looks like this. This is how you hold a baby and this is an example of carrying weight. Okay. Number three example. We have carrying your bag. When you carry something or you carry your bag, it also emphasizes carrying weight in your bag. Example is like this. The weight is on your back and it's in your bag. Okay, so that's it for number one, carrying weight. Now let's proceed to using strength. What does it mean by using strength? When using strength, we can generate force using our body's muscle. This one involves your muscles in your body. We use strength of our muscles in many daily activities, such as pushing and pulling. Example of pushing is when you try to move your chair or table forward. When you say pulling, it is dragging or getting something in front of you going backwards. One good example of pushing and pulling is like opening the door and closing the door. An example of push and pull, also opening the window and closing the window. Those are examples of using strength with pushing and pulling. Now, for using strength, Using body strength in tug of war. I don't know what kind of game is this. I, I think it's this one in Thai is Chakayur. Uh, an example of using strength is playing this game. A uh, kind of example is uh, pulling. You 
use your strength to pull the rope towards you so that the other opponent will lose and will come towards your base. Next, I, I have three examples of using strength. Example number one, we have playing tug of war. Example number two, we have mountain climbing. And example number three, we have playing football. Now for playing tug of war, there should be two teams in between, team A and team B. The force of their using here is their strength in pulling. All three members should pull the rope with their maximum strength. Next, example number two, we have mountain climbing. What kind of strength do you use when you climb the mountain? You use your it's the strength of your feet with the muscles also. Also, this is a kind of um, pushing and pulling. You push your, your body forward using your strength and also pulling in your the use of the strength of your feet. Example number three, we have Playing football. Now for playing football, what kind of strength do you use? There are two types. When you play a football, you use the strength of your feet and muscles. This is an, in running and in kicking. Those two are kind of strength you exert in playing football. Okay, now for the last one, balancing. What is balancing? When you say balancing, we keep our balance to keep our body upright, standing straight with the balance of your body. When walking, standing, or sitting. In this train, in this three kinds of activities, we use balance with our body. Like when you walk, the balance of moving forward with your feet is important. When you are standing with your two feet, you use the balance of the weight in your body. Same with the sitting. Now, for example, we have balancing both sides of body while skating. There are two kinds of sports here in this, in this picture. The, the boy one, um, he is playing or he is using skateboard. And the other one, the three girls, they're using a roller, roller skate. This kind of sports and activities enables you to balance your body in movement. Okay, now I have three examples using balance or balancing. The first one is skating. When you play this sport, you use the balance in your body. Second example, we have cycling. Cycling is um, very common here. I know every student, every one of you can do the cycling. And last one, skiing. Now let's go to number three. Number, number three balance. One example, skating. Teacher, skating. can I go to the toilet please? Go please, go now. Skating is uh, like this um, with the use of uh, skate rollers, this one and uh, under their feet. Usually you do this one with uh, ice floor. Your, the floor is 
um, how do you call it, gliding and with, with the use of ice. You cannot use skating with a rough surface. It should be smooth. Number two, we have cycling. What is cycling? Cycling is using your bicycle. You balance your body with those um, wheels of the bicycle in order for you to move forward. Like you, use, you have to use your two feet to pedal and then balance your body moving forward. This is balancing. And last one, skiing. For skiing, um, it looks like this. Skiing is only for cold places because they have snow. They use their glides like this. Okay, um, for your seat work, before doing this, we have um, to do the worksheets first. But before we do the worksheets, um, get your worksheets now, please. Uh, before you get it, uh, let's have a quick review first. Concept of body motion, there are three parts. Carrying weight, using strength, and balancing. Now for carrying weight, you an object body needs force, your strength, upon it to make it move. Once an object is in motion, there are different forces acting on it. Mean to say, you use the strength in your body, in your arms, to make things move, and you carry the weight. Number two, using strength. In using strength, it is primarily focuses on strength of our muscles in daily activities such as pushing and pulling. Also number three, balancing. In balancing, we keep our body upright, even when standing, walking, or sitting. Now for the worksheets that we have, get now your worksheets, please. The worksheets that we have is this one. I hope everyone have their worksheets now. You have this one in your worksheet? I hope it's a yes. Sure, this? Yeah, second page, yes. I'm showing it yes. to you so that- Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the colored one, so we'll make it easy to see and understand to finding, in finding the answer. Okay, number one, we go from this one first. Um, the piece of wood used for heating the ball in baseball or cricket. What kind of equipment this is in sports? Racket, bat, bat or left? Racket, bat. I, I think a bat. Don't, bad. don't say, bad. don't, don't say bad. the answer. Bad, bad, bad. Rocket is off. Don't say the answer, please. Just, just circle your answer in your worksheet. Number two. Let's go to this one. The official who controls the game in some sports, example, football is called, how do you call this person? Arbitrator, referee, or judge? Arbitrator, referee, or judge? Next one, number three. This one. When a game is finished without either team winning, so there's no winner in both team because their score is uh, the same. Example, one is equal to one. One, one. The game ends in a draw, drawer, or pair. Draw, drawer, or pair. 
Number two is this one. The official who controls the game in some sports. Example, football is called arbitrator, referee, or judge. Number three. And uh, number four, sorry. We got the number four. A type of hard hat that protects the head of the player in some sports. What kind of sport equipment is this? Some sports, they use this one to put in their head, to protect their head. An armor, a helmet, a bowler hat. An armor, a helmet, a bowler hat. Number five, the long metal stick used for hitting the ball in golf. What kind of sport equipment is this? Golf club, golf bat, or golf iron? Number six. Who trains a person or team in sports is the training coach or couch? Training coach or couch? Next, number seven, the leader of a sports team is the, the leader, who is the leader, who is the boss, the team. A boss, captain, commander. Boss, captain, commander. Which one? Teacher, what is, teacher, what is mean commander? Commander. Uh, when you are in military, there's one commander or commanding officer. Commander means say, the one who, who will ask the soldiers to do something. That's commander. Next. The pair of glasses that fit closely to the face to protect your eyes from water and swimming. What kind of sport equipment is this? Goggles. I, this one is Googles. Sorry, Googles, G-O-O-G-L-E-S, Googles. This is goggles and this is goblins. Careful with the, the word and the spelling. Letter A is Googles. Letter B is goggles. Letter C is goblins. Okay, next. The number zero, especially as the score in some games is called when they don't have a score in any sport. Nil, void, and null. Nil, void, and null. Which one? Next. A small metal or plastic tube that you blow to make a sound to attract the player's attention. What kind of sports equipment is this? A, whisper. B, whistle. And C, whisker. Next. The sticks used to push yourself forward while skiing. What kind of sports equipment is this? A, ski bats. B, ski posts. And C, ski poles. Next one. The object that players hit backwards or forwards in the game of badminton. 
What kind of sports equipment is this? Shuttlecock, shuttercock, or shufflecock? Again, shuttlecock, shuttercock, and shufflecock. Next one. An area of land covered by snow where you can practice skiing. An area of land covered by snow where you can practice skiing. A, a slope, a sledge, a slide. Next one. A game is played on ice in which a player's Slide heavy flat stones towards a mark. Curling, cordoning, or pushing. Next one. A weapon with a long metal blade and a handle used in fencing. Use this one in fencing. What kind of sports equipment is this? A swan, a sword, a switch. A swan, a sword, a switch. Last three. A player whose job is to stop the ball from going into his or her team's goal is the... Uh, how do you call this man in the picture and playing football? I could pick like this. This is a goalkeeper, doorkeeper, or gatekeeper. What kind of, of uh, role is this? Goalkeeper, doorkeeper, or gatekeeper? Amur, turn off your, your microphone. Next one. A place where games such as tennis are played. A place where games such as tennis are played. Court, course, counter. This is a court, a course, or counter. Last one. The people who behave in an extremely violent way, especially at football matches. Uh, this one, they have a violent um, exercise, so they, they got angry, so they are extremely violent. You call them as vandals, villains, or hooligans. Vandals, villains. Hooligans. Okay. Now for your additional work. This is going to be your one of your seat work. This is um, writing example. Write this one in your notebook, please. Um, this is going to be your homework or seat work. And I will be checking this one. So you send your answers in the group line or send it directly to me so that I can check it uh, individually. Write uh, examples of carrying weight. Three examples only. Also example of using strength. And lastly, example of any kind of sport that uses uh, balance or balancing. Oh, sorry. Okay. This one. Write this one in your notebook, please.
send it to me in line, okay? I will be checking this one. We still have at least four minutes to five minutes. Number one, carrying weight, using strength and balancing. Calypso finish. Map of finish. Uh -huh. My pulpit camera. Fortune finish. No finish, teacher. Okay. Take a picture of your answers, okay? I want to see them. I will read them. Also, I will show the scores uh, on the screen. And also for the PE last time. Um, For the additional points in PE, those who did send their exercise performance, we only have five students that will have additional 20 points. They are Nick, Jim, Camping, Gabby, and Arm. Only five students, they have 20 additional points in PE. Okay, and if you're wondering what kind of exercise, you can check your book, the first, second topic. This, these are the additional points, okay? Only five students. They only they are only five. Okay. I hope you finish your seat work or homework. It's only only nine or nine examples only. It's it doesn't take long. So I think it's okay to have one. Okay, um reminder sent. Send to me in line, take a photo of your homework and your work. I will post the score next time we have class. So this is the end of our class. I want you to stay safe and stay at home, okay? Goodbye, class. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.